Yo, brother, it's time for us to start talking the real, man. We've been sugarcoating too much. We've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm here with my latest seat adaptation and this is for the Monster Pro. Uh, a big thanks to Dan Grammer. Thanks Dan for the seat. He uh, had this and wasn't using it and he uh, offered it to me. Uh, and I'll put a link below uh, for where you can get this seat if you were interested. Uh, and by the way, Dan is uh, the local E-wheels repair guy for Southern California, but he doesn't only do uh, work for E-wheels. So if you have any, if you're in the general Southern California area and you need some work, pretty much any kind of work you can imagine on uh, EUC, uh, see Dan. And again, I'll put a link to Dan uh, below. So I've done these uh, seats for a few years now. I've been adapting these same basic principle with this uh, spring bicycle mount and I and I, I have various videos on different wheels on uh, how to do it I have to say this particular seat on the Monster Pro is the most comfortable all-around uh, sitting wheel that I've experienced yet the combination of the 24 inch diameter Monster Pro tire which rolls over anything with the spring seat hopefully you saw that a little bit in action uh, an intro to this video along with this amazingly comfortable uh, seat I love this seat it, it's it's just uh, it's amazing <laughs> so if you're looking for a good ride for your Matsu Pro you might consider uh, doing something like I've done now uh, the trolley handle is not usable anymore, but I'll, I say thank God it's not usable anymore. I, I hate the trolley handle on the Monster Pro, and uh, plus it, it won't uh, fly out now much in a, if you happen to crash it. Some people complain about that. Uh, but I'm 5'11", and you can see how comfortable this is to uh, trolley it like this. This is my trolley handle, the seat, and it has this hole in the center, and you know your thumb just boop, pops in here. And uh, if you're uh, a lefty, the same thing. Very comfortable to hold the seat. Much better control over the monster uh, trolleying it like this. Uh, see, another thing to point out is so. The seat, the way this, so I've seen some, some pretty nice seats adapted for the Monster Pro, and they're they're thick for your butt area, but they're 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 straight, so they tend to be they're thick all along the way, so they get in your way of your legs. But on this, you can see my leg is in this area of the seat, and so the seat doesn't not get in your way, and having this tall seat gives you finer control when you're doing any kind of turning because it gives you an additional point of contact on your leg which I think of as a me feedback mechanism for your brain and it just allows you uh, easier finer control over uh, turns particularly slow speed turns like 360s or 180s that, that kind of stuff and uh, also this shape uh, gives you great braking ability so before this seat I used the power pad in the back here to uh, brake now 
actually my leg can't even touch that power pad. Braking now is, is all here, hitting the back of my thigh. And it, and it works great. You want to slow down fast, you just lean forward, back, put a little pressure on your legs, and uh, it's the best braking power pad you can imagine. So, uh, I, again, I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, let me break away and uh, show you a little video of how I installed this seat on uh, my Monster Pro. I'm going to show you how I mount this seat on my Monster Pro. First, I want to give you a short little history lesson of these seats and the seat mount. Now, I didn't come up with this original idea. This is from Ando, a local writer. Well, unfortunately, I haven't seen Ando in a couple of years now, but uh, he first uh, rode up on his ACM uh, sitting down and he had this spring mount. And I thought, <laughs> I thought what a great idea. These are uh, made for uh, bicycles and there'll be links to all, all this stuff in the description on the video. And, uh, you know, it basically can take any kind of uh, a standard bicycle seat. Now, when I started off, I was using this seat. And it's probably what Ando had. And it wasn't, wasn't too comfortable. Not for me and my butt. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of a hard, hard rubber and uh, just very little cushion. So even with, even with a spring mount, not, not too great. And then uh, at some point I was down in San Diego, and I, unfortunately I can't remember who uh, showed me this, but it uh, could have been Brian. just can't quite remember. And he was using the spring, spring mount, <clears throat> but um, he had this seat, which is a bit thicker than this one, and it's gel. The, the top is gel, and oh, much more comfortable than this one. And I, let's see, I've used this seat on my MSX, MSP, my, uh, there's one of my Nikola right now. Uh, I also had a seat kind of like this, size-wise, on my Monster uh, V1. And uh, it was not this seat, though. This seat is amazingly comfortable. Oh, real thick, but yet firm. But yet soft, I don't know, it just seems like just the right perfect combination. And then mounted on the spring mount for added uh, shock absorption. I love it. I've already, I've you know, temporarily mounted on Monster Pro just to see how it would, how it would work for me and whether it would get my the way of my legs because it's so much thicker and it doesn't. So I absolutely love this seat. And uh, now I will show you how I'm going to mount it. Inevitably, I get comments on my videos where I show myself mounting these seats that the shelf is going to break. You shouldn't do this. And uh, it always amazes me that people make these comments when clearly they have never installed a seat on their shell or on the wheel. So uh, how do they know it's going to break? <laughs> and it's not going to break. I've done, again, I've done this on lots of wheels. I know a lot of people now in the world who use these spring mounts on the wheels and their shells are not breaking. First of all, these shells are not as fragile as some people will make uh, lead you to, to believe. Second, the handle area has a slight arch to it, which adds some strength, I think. And third, the shell, this hard edge on the top of the shell area, uh, I think that provides a lot of a lot of uh, rigidity and strength, and these mounts are mounted in a way that uh, the spring mounts, so that the forces uh, weight is distributed over a big area. Uh, so it's it's just not something I worry about. I've never had a problem, and I don't think you should worry about it. The mounting process is very straightforward. I'm going to. Be mounting up here, and I'm going to be using these uh, 
st stainless steel band clamps. You find these in the uh, plumbing section of your hardware store. And I think I'm going to use four for the Monster Pro. And uh, between this and the shell, I'm going to be using leather. This is uh, eight ounce leather. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, you can buy this on Amazon. I have a stack of this. Uh, they sell them in packs of like eight. This is a three by six inch piece, which actually is just about perfect for the wheels. So I'm going to be putting a piece here and a piece under here. And uh, that will protect the shell from any direct contact with the metal bits. I'm reusing a piece of leather that I'd cut for a previous wheel. Again, leather is just so tough, it'll last forever. So I'm getting some good reuse, reuse out of this. I put a piece of double-sided tape just to keep it in place as I position the, the spring mount. And here is the full three by six piece of leather that I'm going to put on the top. It's got some uh, double sided tape again just to keep it, help keep it in place. I've already used this up for a little bit. This is when I was testing uh, the seat earlier. And you can see it already started taking the shape of the, of the shell. Finally, I'm going to pretty everything up 
with some handlebar tape. I'm just going to wrap it around here and then finish it off with some ele electrical tape on the ends. That's it. I tell you, this seat is not going anywhere. So for the cost of about uh, $60 in parts, you too can have a fantastic seat for your Monster Pro. All right, well, as you can see, it's really not very hard to uh, install this seat. 60 bucks thereabouts, and you have just an amazing Monster Pro experience. And you can see uh, when you're resting, makes a very comfortable seat. So in particular, you know, I have, uh, I don't have the best of knees. So when I squat lower on some other wheels, it starts hurting my knees after a while. And here, uh, no, when I'm riding, just barely, I'm barely squatting and it, it's, and it's just so comfortable. And, and look, these seats are never going to be as comfortable as sitting in a car for two hours riding, right? And no EUC seat is going to be that comfortable. But as EUC seats go, EUC seats go, this is the most comfortable ride I've uh, ever experienced uh, in total aspects. Because again, there, there is a there is one seat out there which people are using. Uh, at least a couple, but you use more for the for uh, the Sherman. It's comfortable, but again, it gets in the it gets in your way of your legs when you're standing uh, right now. So, uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I love this seat. So, uh, give it a try if you're looking for a good seat for your Monster Pro. All right, guys. Hope this was uh, useful, and I'll talk to you later.